In this feature, what we do is we cover every nation on planet Earth that have had a Premier League player represent them. We're starting with the early letters of the alphabet, and this week is the turn of Antigua and Barbuda. A few facts to help you along. First, the population of Antigua and Barbuda is just over 100,000 people, making it the 183rd most populated nation in the world, slightly bigger than the Seychelles. There are three players who've represented Antigua and Barbuda in the Premier League era. I'm going to give you them now. And let's find out who you think is the greatest Antiguan player in the Premier League era. Is it Mikael Lejitwood, the defensive midfielder with 67 Premier League appearances and two goals to his name? That record is spread across three clubs in almost 10 years. He played 20 times for Palace in their relegation season of 04-05. Added a further 19 appearances in 06-07 with Sheffield United before being relegated again. But played a further 30 times for Reading in 2013-14. I probably don't need to tell you how that season finished for Reading. <laughs> he is, however, the current manager of Antigua and Barbuda, having played for them 11 times, scoring just the once. Or is it Dexter Blackstock, born in Oxford but qualifying for Antigua and Barbuda through his granddad? He scored once in nine Premier League appearances for Southampton in 04-05, on their way to a bottom-of-the-table finish. So it's another relegation. He also scored twice in six appearances for the national team. His career after football, not been too bad, according to Wikipedia. He's opened a football school for kids, has a portfolio of over 50 properties, and is the CEO of an online pharmaceutical company. So Dexter Blackstock, life is going pretty well post-football. Or is it Moses Ashikodi, who sadly is making up the numbers in this list here, a little bit like his Premier League career? He did make two substitute appearances for Watford in their dismal 6 7 season, where they finished bottom of the league. Ashikodi developed a bit of a bad boy reputation in his youth football days, something that he later said he resented and wasn't warranted. He did, however, still manage to get booked in his sum total of 21 minutes on a Premier League pitch, so you be the judge. Who is the greatest player from Antigua and Barbuda to play in the Premier League? One thing is for certain, if you're facing a relegation battle, they are not a lucky charm. Let's come to you first, Masai. Who are you going for? Are you going for Blackstock, Leisurewood or Asher Cody? Asher Cody, barely even remember the name. Uh, Blackstock, I remember him because I went to that same mode as like my dad of supporting mixed race players. And there was a lot of <laughs> emergence and I remember him and I think Leon Best mm. were came through together and at Southampton. And I remember, oh, Blackstock and Best, these two youngsters, kind of faded away. Obviously, Leon Best is a Newcastle legend with the roof. <laughs> and then, um, but I'm going to have to go for Mikhail, uh, however you pronounce his name. Mikhail Leggettwood, you're going for Mikhail Leggettwood? He's um championship manager, season 01-02, <laughs> with the data editor. And uh, I remember the new championship managers would come out, but the format was crap. So they'd all, always go back to the old game. And every season, update the database. And I remember seeing his name going, oh, he's going to be one of those made-up players, never heard of him. And he was in the database. So I was like, ah, oh, that's all it was stuck in my head because I could never spell his name properly trying to search him. So, uh, And was he was he a good player? Was he a good player on, on the game? I would never buy it. It was just, uh, I was so <laughs> proud every season. I would spend the whole uh, going through the transfers when the window opened and updating the game every year. So, wow. Yeah. That's my only recollection of him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a difficult spelling as well. All right, fine. It's as good a reason as any. Stevie, do you agree with Masai there? Are you, are you going? Are you going for any of the other? Oh, I, th I think due to his being a CEO of an online pharmaceutical company, I'll have to go Blackstock because he might be solving my erectile dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> but out of the three, I think Dexter Blackstock. He's the one. He's the one I knew when. When you mentioned them all, I was like, oh, Dexter Blackstock. But then I couldn't remember him playing in the Premier League. I remember him QPR and Forest, and also being a bit of a journeyman. But, yeah, who, who was it? Southampton. Yeah, so he played he, he, Southampton, and he did he did have a decent career. Obviously, it was outside of the Premier League uh, pre, pre, Premier League games. So, but just the nine Premier League appearances he actually made. But yeah, a, a decent pro who had a who had a good career. Okay, and you said Mikhail, he had, what, 60-odd, 67? 67, and again, quite a few games, I think, there in the Championship as well during that period. His, his are spread out across three separate seasons in 10 years, so yeah. Okay, I think you'd have to go Mikhail for the Premier League, but overall, I'm going to go Dexter Blackstock, just for okay. the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> We're going to put this out on Twitter. Oh, sorry, Mas, go on. I said, yeah, apparently rumour is that he, he holds a lot of his drugs uh, to himself, yeah. Uh, they called him Dexter Backstock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm here all day. I'm here all day. <laughs> yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the preview of the Edinburgh Joke of the Fringe yeah. uh, 2023. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>